Good morning, boys and girls. So glad you're here with me today, this Sunday morning, to learn more about Jesus. Today I'm going to start by reading from Matthew 7, verses 7 through 11. And it says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law of the prophets. So God says... When you ask, it will be given. When you seek him, you'll find him. And when you knock, he'll open the door for you. And that's what our lesson is going to be about today, that God hears our prayers. I want you um, to think about when you're listening, what do we use? What do you use when you, to listen? We use our ears, don't we? Our ears help us listen. And when we're using our ears, to listen, we're hearing information. Well, that's how God is. When we talk to him, he is hearing us. Just like when we use our ears to listen, just like you are to this Bible lesson today, you're listening with your ears. God hears us. The Bible says that we can ask, seek, and knock when we need God. Seek makes me think of playing the game hide and seek. I want you to think about the best place you've ever hidden when you played hide and seek. I'm sure everyone has played hide and seek. Think, see, think about that for just a minute. <clears throat> I bet you have some great hiding places. And I bet it was fun for you and your friends to seek or to look for each other and find each other in your game. We can seek or look for God too. We can talk to him and he hears our prayers. We're going to talk more about that today. So God hears our prayers. In the Bible, Jesus says if we ask, he will give us what we need. Let's do something to help us think about that. Okay, right where you are, I want you to start coloring. I hope you're coloring. Are you coloring? I bet you're not because you know what? You need some things to be able to color, don't you? If we were together, you would be asking, Miss Amber, we don't have any crayons. Can we have crayons, please? Miss Amber, where's our paper so we can color? We need things to be able to color. We can't just all of a sudden stop what we're doing and start coloring, can we? No, we need, we need the tools to be able to color. When you ask your teacher or your moms and dads for crayons and coloring pages, you get those, and those are the things that you needed to color. Just like that, Jesus tells us to ask him for what we need, and he will give it to you. Now, he doesn't say, ask me for what you want, and I'm going to give it to you all the time. No, Jesus is talking about the things that we need. There are certain things that we need, like food and clothing and a roof over our head. God promises to give us the things that we need to stay safe and, and be happy, okay? Um, what's something you need that you can ask Jesus for? Maybe like food we talked about. Maybe a friend to play with, right? Those are some things that we might need. Jesus wants us to ask for the things we need. He always hears us, no matter what. And he will always give us what we need. In the Bible, Jesus also tells us to seek him, and that means to look for him. So like you've played hide and seek before, seeking means to look for something. So when you play hide and seek and you're looking for your friends or your brothers and sisters or your moms and dads, you're seeking, you're looking for them. And just like when something is hidden, and then guess what? When you seek and you keep looking and you look and you look and you finally find them, they're not hidden anymore, are they? Well, we look and just like you look and find your friends or your family when you play hide and seek, Jesus says when we seek him, when we look for him, we 
learn more about him or the world around us. And that, that's how we look and seek him. When we seek to learn, God will help us, just like from his word, the Bible. The Bible is God's word to us. And he says, when we seek him in here, we're going to find him. We're going to learn all about him. We can ask our older friends or our moms and dads or our teachers to help us seek God in the Bible. We can also talk to Jesus, and he will help us learn about him in our hearts. Now, so we talked about seeking, and we talked about asking for, for the things we need. Now we're going to talk about the knocking. Jesus also tells us to knock. Let's, I want you to look for a door around in your house. See what you can find, and I want you to knock on it. Mm -hmm. When we knock, when we go to someone's house and we knock on the door, what happens? They open it. It's our home, right? They open the door. Or if we're at home and our brothers or sisters have their doors closed and we knock on them, what happens? They open those doors, don't they? We find friendly faces. We find friends behind those doors. Just like that. God welcomes us into his friendship. His door is always open for us to come in and be friends with him. Jesus tells us to pray so we can seek, ask, and knock. And he will hear us and he will answer us. Okay? Today, we learn that God hears our prayers. So no matter what, God will hear us when we ask. He will hear us when we're seeking and looking for him in his word. And he will hear us when we knock on that door because his door is always open. And he wants us to find him and to be friends with him. So we can ask him to help us when we need help. We can praise him when we're excited and happy about something and tell him about it. We can seek God when we want to know more about him and what he tells us to do so that we can make sure we're making those good and right choices just like we learned about last week. And we can knock and God will always open his door and welcome us into his friendship and his love. So I want you to remember that. I want you to remember that God is always there for us to ask, seek, and knock. Let's bow our heads. And, and as I lead us in prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for your promise that you hear us when we pray, that when we need something, all we have to do is ask and you hear us, that when we want to look for you, all we have to do is look in your word to find you. And when we knock because we want to come into your friendship and your love, that your door is always open and you open it to us to be your friend with you forever. Thank you, Jesus, for these promises that you give us. Help us to remember to ask and seek and knock whenever we need you and even when we want to praise you. Go with us this week, Jesus, and let us have a good week. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, that's our lesson for this week. I hope you have a great week, and I hope to see you all very, very soon at church.